Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create really amazing cinematic trailer so let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by Mixkit. Mixkit is a free website for online video creators. You will find here tons of free assets like stock video, stock music, sound effects, video templates and lots more. All assets are 100% copyright free and no attributes and sign up required to use or download Mixkit asset. Click the link in the description box to visit Mixkit and download your free asset today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition let's call it cinematic titan and I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok. Okay, now create a text. So right click new, then click on text. Let's type your text here. I type in cinematic tailor 2.0. Now adjust this uh, text a little bit. now make it center and i am using this font from invato elements link in the description box below now create a straight line for this go to toolbar and select paint tool then fill set it uh, turn off and then stroke set it 8 now create a straight line something like this okay now uh, click on add then click on trim path then open trim path then set a keyframe on start and end and both values set it 50% now go to around 2 second 10 frames and start value set it 100 and end value set it 0 now select all keyframes then press F9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph graph to something like this perfect now select this uh, to layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to text then click on ok now import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below now select this reflection map then place it into this timeline now make it smaller and then uh, add motion tile on it then click on uh, mirror edges and increase the output width and output height now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on title center then go to end of this animation then increase the x amount a little bit Okay, now select this layer then right click then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and then rename it to reflection map then click on ok now select this layer then put it below this text layer now um, track layer set it our text and uh, track map set it alpha mat now go to effect and preset window and search for cc blobby lies now select this effect and apply onto this reflection map layer then go to blobbiness then blob layer set it our text layer and then property set it alpha then softness set it 3 and cut away set it 3 now again go to effect and preset window and search for cc 
glass now select this effect and apply onto this layer then go to surface then bump map set it our reflection map and then softness set it uh, maybe 45 height set it minus 47 and displacement set it minus 13 okay looks good to me now create your adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then add curves on it now select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and then increase the RGB curves now create another adjustment layer then go to toolbar and select this rectangle tool then marks this 2.0 now add tint now select this effect and apply onto this layer now change this color anything you want I'm going with red and then add crops and increase the RGB curves looks good to me now select all this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to metal text then click on ok ok now create a uh, white solid layer so right click new then solid then color set it white then click on ok now go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then create a circle something around here and then press f on your keyboard then increase the max feather amount to around uh, 880 perfect now go to project window and then select our um, fire dust layer then place it into this timeline then uh, press s and decrease the size a little bit and then change the layer mode to add now select this uh, metal text layer and then make this layer 3d and then select this fire particle layer and make this layer 3d as well okay now select this uh, lens flare then put it into this timeline and then simply change the layer mode to add and uh, make this layer 3d as well okay now create a new adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer and then add sharpen And then sharpen amount set it 20 and then again create a, another adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for optics compensation now select this effect and apply onto this layer now simply click here and then uh, And then go to bring up this animation then increase the field of view to maybe 130 then set a keyframe on field of view then press u on your keyboard then go to around three seconds then field of view set it maybe 65 perfect now select this uh, layer then press u then select this two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this now select this metal text layer then press p and then z value set it 1500 then press S and increase the scale amount something like this 
okay now create a camera so right click new then click on camera then go to beginning of this animation then press p then set a keyframe on position then simply select this keyframe and drag it around two seconds now increase the z value now select this two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor then simply change the graph curve Okay, now select this our uh, lens flare um, layer, then parent it to our metal text layer. Then go to beginning of this animation, then press S, then set a keyframe on scale, and then go to around 5 seconds. And scale amount, uh, set it maybe 140. Okay, now create a black solid layer so right click uh, new then click on solid and color set it black now go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this marks path then hold down all then control then drag and then simply click on invert our uh, animation is complete that's how i made the trailer so ramp view this thank you very much for watching this tutorial and please subscribe my channel and like this video and if you have any suggestion then please comment down below peace out